Hey guys, this is actually the first of three um, digital anchor charts that we're going to have to cover uh, G3 and G4. So we have uh, G3 says that we can understand the attributes, which are traits or characteristics, belonging to a category of 2D figures. 2D just means flat, flat shapes, not three dimensional. Um, also belong to that they also belong to subcategories of that category. So basically what that means is that if I'm looking at this chart and I have a chart of polygons here, just an overview of all the polygons, and I'm down here on the chart and I see that I have a square, then that I understand reading my chart that a square is also a rectangle and also a parallelogram and also a trapezoid and also a quadrilateral and all of these are polygons. So we're going to talk more about that um, as the week goes on and through next week. Um, but 5G4 says that you can classify 2D figures in a hierarchy based on properties. So basically, if I tell you that a shape has um, four sides, they're all equal, but, z but it has no right angles, that you could figure out that, that shape is a rhombus. So a rhombus has four equal sides, but it does not necessarily have any right angles. So uh, basically, they're they're kind of one and the same. Can I put them in a hierarchy based on their properties? Can I understand that when I put them in a hierarchy, they are um, a part of that group and all the groups above them in that hierarchy? So we'll be working on this uh, this week and next week. Basically, an overview today, starting off, is that polygons are closed figures and they are only composed of straight lines. So if a shape has a curved line in it, like a circle or an oval or um, a cone, these shapes are not polygons. So polygons are only made of straight lines and there are some specific categories of poly polygons that we learn the names of and you need to know these names. This is basically just vocabulary, guys. You probably already know that a triangle is a polygon with three sides. And there are different types of polygons that we'll take a closer look at on a, one of the other videos. A quadrilateral is any polygon that has four sides. So there are many types of quadrilaterals. We're also going to spend some time this week learning about quadrilatera quadrilaterals and investigating those. Um, and then these other polygons, you need to learn the names of. It's basically just vocabulary. No math tricks here. Um, so whatever vocabulary tricks you're using in ELA, want to apply those to this skill. Um, pentagons have five sides. Hexagons have six sides. So we're looking at those prefixes, understanding that pent means five, hex means six. Um, a heptagon, I've also seen it called a septagon has seven sides. An octagon, like a stop sign, should have made that one red, has eight sides. A uh, nonagon has nine sides, and a decagon has 10 sides. You probably recognize the prefix dec in that word, which means 10, like a decade. Um, so basically just some words you're gonna need to memorize, how, which shapes go by which names, and uh, we're also gonna learn that regular polygons have all equal sides. So if I was looking at my chart and I wanted to find all of the regular polygons, I would know that an equilateral triangle is a regular polygon because all of the sides are equal. And I would know that a square has is a, a regular uh, shape. because all of the sides and angles are equal. Now, if we look at a rhombus, that could be a little confusing because all of the sides are equal, but if you notice, a rhombus has two acute angles and two obtuse angles. So all of the angles are not going to be the same. So it would not classify as regular. Everything else, if it's not all regular, um, all the sides and all the angles are not equal, it would not be considered a regular. Now, all of these shapes can be, you can have a regular pentagon. And if someone tells, or if it's classified as a regular pentagon, you know that all the sides and all the angles are going to be equal. The same with any of these other shapes. Um, Miss Southerns are probably not regular because 
She had a little trouble drawing some of these things. Decagon, that's not easy to draw. I challenge you to try that. Uh, 10 sides, <laughs> equal. Um, but usually you will have regular um, pentagons, hexagons, heptagons, octagons, nonagons, um, decagons. If it's not regular, that means that the sides are not equal. Um, sides and angles are not equal. All right, so that's a basic overview for today. We'll dive further into quadrilaterals and triangles later this week.